and I caught right past that. And I'm surprised I haven't hit really anything of excitement yet. I'm not talking diamonds. I'm still hoping to get some of that. So I can make torches. I don't like burning my wood for coal. So I'm going to keep making this tunnel till it's uh, 250 blocks long. I don't know why I stop at 250, but it sounds like a nice round number. I think it was uh, something to do with... Um, one, two, three, one, two. I think it was something to do with the amount of uh, space I can carry. If I make them 250 blocks long, I usually had enough inventory space on me to bring everything back, stones and all. I really hate burning wood to get charcoal. I really hate dying in lava. That is so bad. Okay, let's go. So we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75 blocks long. So far. So I'd like to see some coal or some, some diamond or something of interest. Something other than stone brick and granite. So as uh, before I got interrupted and disturbed, um, I was going to tell you about Florida. And what's it like going from Massachusetts to Florida? Florida is kind of like the... Um, Everybody makes fun of Florida. All the weird shit you hear in the news comes from Florida. And it is a very strange state because, um, for one, it looks like a flaccid penis. And I live on the tip of the state, too, which makes it kind of sticky, which is yuck. Anyways, um... The farther south you go in Florida, the farther north you really are. I know that makes no sense. But the closer you are to Tallahassee, which is at the top of the state, uh, the closer you are to the people who have lived in Florida their whole lives and act more like people from... Mm, Mississippi and Arkansas and Louisiana, kind of southern, real nice people, but kind of ignorant and different. Because when people say they're going to Florida, like the snowbirds, they are usually uh, coming down to South Florida where I live. Down here, um, say like at my job at everybody who works at my job I would say I'm surprised I haven't had any coal yet I would say 10% were actually born in this state and those 10% that were actually born in this state are about as rednecky as you can get which is fine but um it's not like the uh, New Yorkers and stuff that you get down where I am. Um, so it's very rare. Uh, so they have a popular bumper sticker down here. Three. Um, called Flow Grown. It's just F-L-O with the state of Florida in the middle with the grown after it. Which basically means that they're Florida bred. That they're from Florida. They were born in Florida and are from Florida. Which are usually the people that make the news. <laughs> um, another thing about Florida uh, that's kind of interesting is if Orlando is like a split place. Um, 
Everything north of Orlando is basically democratic. And, well, I shouldn't say that. Hmm, how can I explain this? Everything south of Orlando, you need to speak Spanish to get around. You can be in Walmart and, uh, and eat these potatoes. You can be in a Walmart and you can see a person go and ask me anything. I'm a Walmart employee. And you go up to them and say, you can, I'm, I'm, I've actually done this. Do you know where Walmart is? And they'll look at me and go, no comprende essay, no comprende, no speak English, hold on, and they'll go get somebody who speaks English. So, I don't really speak much Spanish, but I mean, I can get by living down here, but it would be nice, because um, 40 to 50% of my town is old white people from up north. And the other 50 to 60% of the town are the people who work to take care of the old pe white people up north. And out of those 50-60% of the people, about 30% of them are illegal Mexicans. Which, we have some really good Mexican restaurants down here. And any chain a store that opens up in Florida that's popular up north is not nearly as good down here um, I'm a huge Dunkin Donuts fan and the Dunkin Donuts down here suck the donuts are stale the, um, the coffee isn't really as good even though it's the same stuff they, it's just different somehow and I don't know how that is that's true with other stores that have opened in Florida because if you live in, say, Jersey or Pennsylvania and you're used to eating at White Castle and you come down to Florida and there's no White Castle, it kind of bums you out. So they'll move, you know, a couple of stores down here just for the people who are used to going to White Castle for, for food. And so there's Dunkin' Donuts down here, which isn't really from Florida. Actually, they're from, what is it? South of Boston somewhere, I forget. Quincy? No. Norwood, I think. I think that's where Duncan Norwood's originated. Uh, Friendly's from Wilbraham, Mass. is down here, but they're going out of business because they're not nearly as good as they are up north. And I still don't have any coal. What the hell? So Florida is really two different states, and Orlando's a dividing line. You have the ultra-conservative south part because most of the people that live down here are... Um, rich white guys and gals and over 60 years old and then you can go up north where it's the working people who are more for things to help out the workers and giving the workers a break so it is really two different states and it seems like the uh, the state has become more um, democratic lately actually I think the last elections it voted democratically and it used to be a big red state not that you guys care because politics don't matter until you're older very rarely do I know somebody who's like 20 years old or younger that actually gives a shit about politics <clears throat> So yeah, um, when I tell people I live in Florida, I am kind of embarrassed by it, because we do make the news for some strange things. Okay, what's my, so I'm at 60, so I want to be at 266 at the end. So we got some ways to go. I like that. So there's caves all around. Also, when I do these side branches off of here, um, I will light up the caves that I run across. I've actually gone farther than I thought I have. This whole torch situation is really bugging me. 
So it kind of sucks having to run 100 and 200 blocks to get torches. I actually only have what? 50 more blocks to go. So what's that? 10 torches. So let's go like that. Excellent. It's a beautiful place to visit, but in, with my movements around the country, I've realized that the things that make an area exquisite and beautiful to you, um, you know, like down here, palm trees, you know, people, oh God, you gotta love the palm trees. But after, you know, six months of living down here, the palm trees look like oak trees or maple trees to you. They're normal, they're not... They're not beautiful, they're just regular trees. And I think that's true for every area. Every area has its lovely areas. Did you stop coming after me because, hi, I'm down here. I think you knew I was gonna do that, didn't you? Okay, let's uh, light up this cage a little bit. I do have more water. I don't want to have to um, die again down here in lava. Dying's good and all, but it's not a habit you want to continue doing. I don't know. Um, some people say that I don't make, you know, jump around and go, oh my god. And make a big deal about stupid stuff in the game. Is this all it was? Okay. Was there any coal down here? Yeah, there's some coal there. Didn't I just see coal? Nope. So things I see down here on a daily basis, I should say. People stopping on a 50 mile per hour road just to point out the fact that this house is beautiful. People who back up on the highway because they missed their exits. People who think 45 miles per hour means 20 miles per hour. Those are some of my favorites. Everybody carries a gun down here. Which is exactly... Mm, yes. And they actually believe that having a gun makes you safer. I'm sorry, holding something that kills people doesn't make me safer. It just makes people think I'm going to kill them, which makes them want to kill me. I probably shouldn't get into a political thing because if somebody is a different thought pattern than I, I think this is my first redstone. They might not enjoy my point of view as much because they'll be just thinking, ah, damn liberal. Go hug Obama a little bit. And I don't want to single people out. And talking about religions and politics is a good way to single people out. Or not single people out, but... They're high controversial um, high controversy you're gonna offend somebody no matter what you say somebody takes it too seriously and gets offended effing <sighs> jerks
I'm gonna go check this place out. And I don't want to be angry in people. This is supposed to be for fun. And yeah, it's just my view, but people, some people, you know, just take the fact that somebody has a different view than them to heart and too seriously and hate people because they are have a different opinion. And that's just a waste of time for me. Some of my best uh, friends completely disagree with me on politics and religion. But it doesn't make me hate them. But some people, it will. Which is too bad. And it may seem stupid to younger folk, but... I thought I had diamonds somewhere. Did I already click? I thought I had more diamonds than that, too. Hmm. I, I don't like going for diamonds when I hear the bubbling noises of lava. There was another patch of diamonds. I think it might have been in my hallway. Okay, I think it's safe to extend my hallway. Wherever it is. Here it is. Right? Nope. Here it is. I need to go to two. Oops, I took another screenshot. Yeah, baby. I'm going to go to 266. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll work our way back. We're probably going to have to go back to the thing and make uh, an iron pick. Just going to keep those coordinates up for a couple of minutes while I get to where I want to be. And then I'll make the branches on the side something I cleaned out yep okay I hear it all over me there's a big lava lake somewhere could possibly be above me but I think it's to my left I can't believe I died that's so stupid I guess this equals a big lava lake one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This will be the end of my tunnel right here. So what I do, I'm going to lose this torch, but is I then go and Okay, we gotta go up there too. But first I go one, two, three, four, five. Again. Throw down a torch. Then the three. Throw down a torch. And if I go five more, oops. One, two, three, four, five. Be so much better if I was doing this with diamonds. The next tunnel I will be will end up being right here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put this on the wall because that's how I know when it's ended. And I go this way and do the same thing. So next time I go branch in this direction, I will be 13 blocks this way. So one, two, three, four, five, and it will make sense in a minute. I'm I'm actually thinking of um, when I run into things that I'm doing in this world, making a tutorial on, and a different video 
uh, to explain why and what I'm doing. So, I'm going to clean this stuff up. You know, get all the goods. This one might be... Okay. I was thinking there might be uh, lava there. Got to get some of this stuff because this stuff is important to me now. I'm going to get rid of that. I've been working with the coordinates up a lot and I don't like doing that. 